Hello all of my lovely friends and thank you so much for tuning in to another video from Developing with Mel. I am Mel and I am a developing medium, which means I am learning how to become a professional medium. In today's video, we are going off a question I received from a viewer on my Instagram account about how you can become a medium if you were not born that way. So as always, thank you for watching and stay tuned. People ask me all the time, how is it possible that you can be a medium if you were not born as one? Especially my friends that have grown up with me and known me my whole life. I still have some friends that are completely skeptic about it or some that don't even bring it up, which is okay. Not everybody has to agree or want to be involved. But I want to let those that are practicing and developing know or even somebody who stumbles across this video interested in mediumship, that you can absolutely learn and study and practice this ability just like you would practice and learn how to drive a car, just like you would practice and learn how to speak another language or play a musical instrument. This ability is something that everybody can tap into. Everybody has this ability to be a medium and tap into the spirit world and the higher realms. So today I'm going to tell you how to do that. First, you have to set the intention that that's what you want. If you want to be a medium and that is your passion and that drives you, set that intention and go for it with force. Go for it with as much passion as you have. The intention of wanting to be a medium sets things going, sets things rolling for you. So for me, I set the intention right away when I discovered that this ability was something that we all could tap into. It was always something that I was very interested in, something that I always wanted to dabble in or try to do for myself. And when I discovered that you don't have to be born as a medium for it to be something that you can do, I dove straight in. I set that intention of, I'm gonna make this happen. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna learn everything that I can to bring this into my life. And I can tell you that it has brought so much joy and happiness and just an incredible feeling into my life. Going for something that makes you happy brings so much happiness into your own life. So please, I stress to you, if this is something you want, set that intention. First things first, set that intention and go with it. The next thing I would encourage you to do to become a medium is start by reading some books. Start by gathering information from other mediums about how they did it and some tips and tricks that they have for you on how to develop. Now I have several videos on how to develop and what I have done so far in my development journey so you can definitely check them out. I have some links below. and. You can always email me and ask me questions or leave some comments and I will let you know what I do and some tips and tricks that help me. We are here to grow and learn together. That is the whole reason I made this YouTube channel. So definitely find books that resonate with you and that work well with you. The next thing I would suggest is finding a group that you can relate to a group of people that you can bounce ideas off of and talk to. You can definitely find those on Facebook. You can find them on YouTube here and you can find them on Instagram. Just search for a mediumship or mediumship development and you will come across a ton of pages that can help you develop and learn the skills of how to become a medium. They are all over and there's so many great, amazing people in these groups. I'm also a part of them that are just so willing to help and so awesome and so understanding, especially when you're trying out for the first time and you're just developing. You need a set of like-minded people and people who understand that you're practicing and developing and people that you can reach out to, friends that you can reach out to, to have bad days or good days with and, and just bounce ideas back, up, back off of each other. 
The next thing I would suggest is sitting in the power or sitting for meditation. I have a sitting in the power video on my channel. I will link it down below for you guys as well. But sitting in the power is your main, main awesome way to connect to the spirit world and build your power, build your ability, build your strength, and just get better overall. Now there's hundreds of great videos on YouTube of how to sit in the power and um, meditation, like music that you can use for sitting in the power. So I would suggest those to start. And then as you advance and as you progress, you want to do it without the music. You want to do it without the sound and without the background noise because you want to sit for yourself, for your guides, for your spirit team in complete silence so that you can focus on what you see or what you feel or what you hear. So to start out, absolutely, if you need the music and the guides to tell you, you know, what to do at this step and what to do at that step, start out with it and, and go from there. But get yourself to the point where you can do it all on your own. And I've said in many videos that sitting in the power or sitting for meditation, it doesn't have to be a two hour production or ordeal. If you only have 10 minutes each day to do that, that's what you can do. And that's perfect as long as you keep it consistent, as long as you are continually sitting in the power, continually sitting with your guides and continually getting that practice up and going. The duration does not matter. Now, yes, I like to sit for 30 to 45 minutes when I can, when I have a chance, but a majority of the time it's 10 to 20 minutes. And I can tell you that even just that little bit has advanced my mediumship up so much. So sitting in the power is another great tool for anybody that's beginning and learning. My next tip would be to call in your guides. We all have guides on the other side. We all have a spirit team that is there to help us through life. We've had them since we were born. We knew them before we came here to earth and those guides are basically like our friends, our, our protectors, and they're here to help us in any way that they can. So when you mentally put that intention out there that you want to become a medium, set that intention as well to meet your guides, see them in a meditation, see them in a reading, have them talk to you and pay close attention to your thoughts and your feelings. If a random thought comes in about something and you normally wouldn't think about that, that's your guide. And people say to me, well, I don't hear anybody's voice. It sounds like my own. That's, that's how spirit communicates with you. When I'm doing my readings and I can sense or feel or know, it's in my own voice. I don't, there's no difference. Like I don't hear a man or a woman or a grandmother, grandpa talking to me. I hear it in my own voice, but I've done practice reading so much and sitting in the power so much that I can distinguish that that voice, even though it's my own, is spirit giving me a message through my, my clear audience or clear sentience, clear cognizance. So you will be able to distinguish that as you go on. So don't let that worry you. Don't let that be a factor of, oh, it's my own voice. Over time, you will learn how to distinguish. My last tip for you guys is probably the most obvious, but get out there and practice. Practice your mediumship readings as often as you can. Getting yourself out there, putting yourself out there, removing that fear and just going for it is going to give you a huge leap in your journey. It's going to change things for you. The more that you practice and the more that you show the spirit world that you're out there and available and of service to them and humanity, the more that you are going to advance in your mediumship journey. Giving practice readings gives you that ability to work with spirit and feel what certain things feel like or hear or sense or see. You know, you're gonna have that chance to interact with them and that builds you as well. Your mind and your subconscious, every time you do a practice reading, your subconscious is recording that on the back end and keeping that going for you. So you remember next time, oh, this is what that feels like. This is what that sounds like. That thought wasn't my own, that thought was spirit. So practice readings are definitely going to be your best friend. They are going to be what gets you up and running. 
And the great thing about the Facebook or Instagram I mentioned before is that in those groups, a lot of the time, you can put out a message that you want to practice and have sitters schedule practice readings with you. So those are kind of like a double, double sword. You can reach out to people and get help and you can also put posts in those um, social media sites to get practice sitters. And that's typically what I do. I like to post in these sites that I'm on and I do get a lot of, of responses. So you can get a bunch of different people in, they're in different countries, they're, they speak different languages, but you know they'll speak English and they can understand you. But you can get people from all over the world and it helps build your mediumship. So I hope that you guys found some great value in this video today. As always, I really appreciate if you would like and share and subscribe to these videos, share with your friends, share with other developing mediums so that we can keep this community growing and keep this a positive and safe space for all of us to learn and develop together. I appreciate each and every one of you and goodbye, my lovely friends.